What's going on, Leafs Nation? We got the Rangers in the Leafs tonight. I'm doing the live blog. Puck is about to drop. I'll get back to you when the game starts. So some good news right off the bat. Chris Versteeg is back to the lineup. He's healthy. And J.S. Shiger is starting in goal. He's only given up six in four home games this year for the Leafs. Let's hope we can keep that going. Prust v. Commissarek. Uh, Prust might have landed a couple of more shots, but I think I'll have to give the round to Commissarek for scoring the takedown. Bit of a sluggish start, but the second line just had a really good shift. Generated some chances and a few shots on goal. Clark MacArthur almost put one in. And yeah, that should have been a penalty for the hit on Grabowski. Halfway through the first period, bit of a flurry there at the 10-minute mark by the Rangers. But other than that, it's been all Maple Leafs. Let's hope they can keep this going for the rest of the period. Power play Toronto. Let's hope they can get something going here. So Toronto does not execute a very good power play. I think they registered maybe one shot on goal. Missed the net a whole bunch of times. Didn't have much of a presence. And then five seconds after the penalty expires, the Rangers go up 1-0. Late power play for the Maple Leafs, and they'd better score, because this Ranger team knows how to block shots. They had 30 last night, and they've got 8 so far. So, end of the first period, and Toronto's done everything right. They've drawn penalties, they've gotten shots, they've got a lot of good pressure, and they're still behind 1-0. Story of our lives, isn't it, folks? Once again, the Leafs fail to convert on the power play. Well, what more can you say than that? Leafs are out shooting the Rangers by a 2-1 to one margin, and still trail, because, well, they're shooting from 30 feet and 40 feet straight at Lundqvist's chest. Halfway through the second period, and fatigue is starting to show on the Rangers. They're getting hemmed in, back in their own end, quite easily and quite often. Uh, here's hoping Toronto can wear them down, get better quality shots at Lundqvist. 2-0 Rangers on a Ryan Callahan penalty shot. You ever stop and ask yourself, I mean, can't the Leafs ever catch a break like that? There's a word to describe the type of penalty that Luca Caputi just took. Weak. Now put yourselves in the shoes of the Leafs right now. Just imagine how frustrated they are. They spend all that time in the Rangers' end. They generate shots. They finally get some really great scoring opportunities after spending, you know, almost two or three minutes working a forecheck and a cycle and on and on and on. And then the Rangers go back the other way and get the exact same number of chances in about 10 seconds. You get the feeling that for any other team, that Grabowski shot would have gone in. So in the end, the Leafs lose 2-0 after directing a grand total of 90 shots towards the net. No, I'm not making that up. They had over 30, over 35 shots on net. The Rangers blocked about 32 shots. And they directed about 25 that didn't actually hit the net. In contrast, Toronto only blocked five shots tonight. And that's all they had to block, because there really wasn't much to block. They completely handled the Rangers in every area, except the score sheet. Yes, frustration, thy name is Maple Leafs.